Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're back with yet another epic universe update from the amazing Bio Reconstruct. And right now, you can see an overview from Epic Universe. Things are rising right along. All lands and the hub and hotel are in full force. The hotel is still lagging behind, but it will catch up quite quickly for its opening in 2025 because some of those ele other elements are much more complex to construct. The hotel is relatively easy compared to those other elements. So let's break down land by land right now on Theme Park Wizard. Starting off with the classic monsters area, now nicknamed or rumored to be called Dark Universe based on some permits that Universal has filed. They filed land names, land name permits for, or land name trademarks for um, the classic monsters area and how to train a dragon. And Dark Universe is the name that they're potentially going out with with this land so we'll start calling it by that name but in the dark universe land we have you see the village constructed the dark ride all done and just scaffolding on the hill on the show I'm building fine. and the coaster being constructed let's take a closer look at that roller coaster the uh curse of the wolf man curse of the werewolf is the again trademark name for this coaster so we'll start calling it by that but the curse of the werewolf coaster has a the layout has been completed. The two tracks, uh, two, uh, two of the tracks have been covered, indicating that something will likely be built on top of them, according to Bio Reconstruct, so we'll be watching for that. But the one show scene is done, or almost done, has that waterproofing um, layer on it, and then should have, get its actual theming. Probably, I'm guessing, a brown or dark type of um, color palette going on there for that shed. And that's the shuttle element and i'm sure there'll be some kind of scene, either maybe an animatronic or some type of screen but some kind of show happening in there as you go through uh the shuttling segment of that show scene there Perfect. looking at the kind of overall center of the land right now again you see the village village being constructed to the north the dark ride to the south or the bottom of the picture and the coast to the right and There'll be uh, the windmill, the restaurant that's rumored to have a burning windmill, a windmill that catches on fire every so often, is being built to the bottom corner right over there. And yeah, that kind of takes away the classic, uh, the dark universe area. There's space for future expansion for a potential creature of the lagoon boat ride, but that won't happen at least start until 2025 at the earliest. I'm probably won't even open until maybe 2028 or 2030 uh, at the earliest to latest. But yeah. This land is looking fantastic. It should be highly themed. Can't wait to see them start putting the, the cobblestone streets and all that good stuff happening. See some more theming happening on that land because it looks absolutely gorgeous. Here's another shot of the scaffolding on the um, so the queue for the dark ride portion and another shot of the coaster from just a different angle. This should be a very fun coaster. It'll be a mock, rumored to be a mock spinning family coaster. So yeah. Great updates on the dark universe now let's move on to the next land the isle of burke yeah moving on to the next land here we have the isle of burke the official title in the trademark is how to train your dragon dash isle of burke like disney with their long names uh no one's ever gonna say that all that they'll just be like probably let's go to how to train your dragon land or let's go to burke or whatever but for all intents and purposes, we're just going to call it the Isle of Burke. And here's an overview of the land, including the massive centerpiece Great Hall restaurant, as well as the swooping roller coaster that will be going around the entire area. Here's a closer look at the family coaster that has some covered sections over to prevent the dust from moving along. But yeah, you see the maintenance bay right there, and the station will have a double loading station. And a few launches. This will be a nice family coaster. Again, something that's a little less intense than Hagrid's. But um, it'll also be fun for the whole family. Should have some nice airtime and swooping lateral moments as well. They'll be diving underwater and through rocks. And later on, you'll see um, some of the rock work that's actually been Im implemented on this coast, which is super cool. Moving on to the theater. The theater looks fantastic. You can see the, um, the concrete has been poured and the tiers have been set. And the show, the pre show area before you get to the theater has is fully wrapped up and fully enclosed as well move along to the great hall restaurant you see lots of progress has been made on this since the last update um, a lot of concrete has been poured walls have been put up and the area is almost 
entirely enclosed. You can see the roof is starting to be put up on the main dining area and the columns in the, the main great hall area still has to be enclosed but that is next on our update that should be next update should be fully done by then. moving on to the area portal and main entryway you can see the portal that is still not themed but is built there and you'll be crossing a bridge into the island of burke with those two awesome statues right there and then the, to the left is the coaster making it swooping uh, dive under the water and final turn final helix into the break run here's a close look at that coaster right there you can see the rock work some of the rock work has started to been to be implemented on that final section of the roller coaster and then there'll, again there'll probably be some waterfalls as you see the coaster dives under the water in that area of track that's covered the means they'll be building something over that so should be a really fun climatic ending to this roller coaster i'm very excited to see how it all plays out and see what thematic elements be placed in here because i feel like this will be more like definitely like hagrid's not just an in intensity but with the storytelling thematic element may i wouldn't be surprised if there's an animatronic or two but it'll definitely be a beautiful scenic coaster taking our sights to the hub right now you can see the hub fountain is ready to go has all the concrete in it's had it for a few weeks but now i think they're starting to install like the fountain part and some of the infrastructure the hotel just above that you can see is still on its ground floor but again that thing should sprout up really quickly especially if they're building it in the prefab style as they are the other two hotels but if not that is fine too that's just a standard building it's a little less complicated than some of these lands with the how the detail and emergence of if it looks like it's lagging it's definitely not going to be delayed because standard hotel buildings standard buildings in general take only about two years to build so even if they started right now they could easily finish by summer 2025 moving along to the restaurant here in the hub this area it's gonna be a restaurant not entirely sure what this restaurant will be themed to if anything but it looks like it's have a kind of a small footprint so maybe um Mm, probably like a, maybe not a snack stand but maybe like a cafe or something and moving on to the ride of this area is going to be that car water carousel and that has concrete put all over it and rooms to be built by mock rides and could be a mock water carousel should be cool with interesting addition i'm not sure if you have any of those in the u.s or not but it'll be nice and unique especially because it'll be over water moving on to super nintendo world uh not much has changed here i mean a lot has changed but a lot of the big stuff is already done so a lot of stuff that has changed is smaller but here's a nice overview with the of course you see the Mar massive mario kart show building the mushroom kingdom area and donkey kong getting closer into donkey kong see the track is getting it's about all complete even you see some of the uh jumps the gap the jumps and the gaps the fault false track right there which should be really awesome and moving along to another part of Donkey Kong, but the side version, you can see the show building is getting a lot of theming and is uh, moving along quickly. You also, you also see a good uh, segment of that first launch, a good shot of that first launch right there and all the mechanics going into that as well with the fake track above it headed, leading out of this, which is super cool. And of course, you're going to work on that element where you're going to jump the spikes down in that corner as well. Going over to the Mushroom Kingdom, eh? You can see Yoshi has his track going along. They put even some X's on the track. Not entirely sure what that is for, but I'm sure it's for something important. But the Mushroom Kingdom looks fantastic. The Peach's Castle area looks good. Again, we'll be entering on the second level and going down to the first level. And you have a lot of walking space up there. This will be the full version. It'll actually be even bigger in terms of like space to walk than in Japan's. And certainly obviously bigger than hollywood so this will be the biggest super nintendo world in the world there's a shot of that escalator i was talking about or this is the warp pipe they'll be going in that's the entrance then you'll have to take an escalator to go up and enter through peach's castle onto the second level of super nintendo world the mountains are starting to come into shape as well they're right now they're white but there'll be some green mountains on there within the next couple of months probably even sooner than that Moving on to Star Farm Racers, not much to update this week. You can see there's a concrete pad they're installing to put some more airtime hills and elements 
and so you can see a nice just good shot of the coaster coming out of the first of the station dipping into the first launch right over there but not too much to offer on the back side of the coaster still working on supports and footers but that should have a massive update next time i'm sure lots more track placement will be coming when they get deliveries and uh when they just start installing it probably sometime this week and lastly moving on to the impressive wizarding world of harry potter ministry of magic area um not sure if that's what it's going to be called that's what i'm just calling it because it follows the nomen nomenclature of the other lands but this might be themed to fantastic beasts and harry potter so we'll have to see but right now the parisian court uh, parisian fences or facades are being installed all over the place and this densely packed area will look amazing and probably one of the best theme lands in the entire park when it opens it looks to be like it just now i mean look at those tightly packed quarters scaffolding everywhere and even some more parisian uh you can see like the completed parisian facades on the top there of the land which is fantastic this land will originally open with one ride and one theater the second ride of course got scrapped but the facades for the entrance to the second ride are currently still being built so it doesn't look like a big gap they're almost like what's happening in avengers campus here in california venture where the facade to the e-ticket has been built but there's nothing behind there the canceled vr or scrapped second ride was rumored to be a vr broomstick attraction which actually sounded horrible so i'm glad they scrapped it i'm sure they come up with something way better for a second attraction expansion down the line but yeah wishing will looks fantastic um the arc day triumph is being constructed right now lots of great stuff and that concludes our epic universe update for this week what do you guys think thank you to bio reconstruct again for the amazing footage and subscribe to the channel for more epic universe and universal updates as well as disney and some other theme parks in southern california and orlando as well like this video share this video to show your friends what's happening out in florida and have a fantastic